All right, so we'll just go off a basic entry. Um, whatever entry you decide to do into the, uh, into this leg lock is, is entirely up to you. But we're gonna go with a fist bump into a bow lock clinch and then passing into a, a rear body lock. So I'm coming here, I'm going, nice. Now, I'm sitting here, I come across, uh oh, I got the hand trap. The key, if I'm going into a valley drop, I would slide my arm in and hook his forearm. But I know I want a leg lock, so I pull this arm out, I have his wrist, and I place my hand on the outside. Very important to seize control over one arm. I personally always seize control over the left arm. You decide which arm you want. Now, once I have his body wrapped up and I have his wrist, I am locked to his body and I have access to his right leg. That's the key. Access to his right leg without having to make any major changes. My right leg is going to shoot through his legs and then I'm going to press up. So I'm standing here, I come up, just like so. Now, I have a heel hook, cross body, cross my body, which is tight. My mission is to stop him from figure four in his legs at this point. So I come, just like so, with the webbing, which exposes the steel. One more time. Whatever entry you got to this position at, if I have him in a body lock, I want to seize control over one arm. I never do anything just having a waist. I want to seize control over one arm, just like so. Hand on the outside as I have his wrist, shoot my leg through, just like so, ah. and down. Tight positioning, my foot is hid behind his back and block his figure four, just like so, which exposes his heel. Last time, again, nice. 